Hello everyone and welcome to L Living in part 2 of my Dutch Wonderland review. This amusement park is an enchanting kingdom for kids and their families even in their off season. This video will showcase their seasonal fun and nearby lodging whereas part 1 was an overview of their rides and attractions. There are links below to that video as well as websites of all the events and places I will be talking about. Let's start with their seasonal fun. First is Happy Hauntings. For three weekends each fall, you and your family can come here and enjoy some fun fall festivities. There are 30 rides and attractions open during this time and they offer trick-or-treating for the kids along Exploration Island, which is included in the price of admission. Plus, a huge bonus in my opinion, you get to enjoy the beautiful colors of a Pennsylvania fall thanks to all the mature trees in the park. Next is Winter Wonderland for some Christmas and winter fun. For this event, you can enjoy 20 rides and attractions, the Royal Light Show, which features thousands of twinkling lights, and even a visit with Santa Claus. And Dutch Wonderland is a great supporter of Toys for Tots to support local kids. So on their designated Toys for Tots Day, your children 12 and under can each bring a new unwrapped gift and receive one complimentary ticket into the park. This is a wonderful deal for everyone involved. So now let's talk about lodging. On their website, Dutch Wonderland has links and packages for several hotels in the area, but the places I'm featuring in this video are within walking distance and on the same side of the street as the park. I will first tell you about Old Middle Stream Campground. It's been around almost as long as Dutch Wonderland as it opened in 1965, two years after the park. It is nestled on 15 acres along a stream with Lancaster County farmland on one side and Dutch Wonderland on the other. They have tent sites, partial or full hookups, as well as family cabins and even larger park models. Their amenities include modern restrooms, two laundromats, a playground, a country store, and discount tickets to the park. Next is a completely new and groundbreaking hotel, the first one of its brand in the country, and it is right next to Dutch Wonderland. It's Cartoon Network Hotel and it just opened in January of 2020. Each of the rooms is themed to one of the following Cartoon Network shows. The Amazing World of Gumball, Adventure Time, Ben 10, The Powerpuff Girls, Steve Universe, or We Bear Bears. We also offer larger sized rooms called Dream Suites. Their rooms are well themed with fun colors and some of them have a rare perk. Personal TVs for the kids on each end of the bunk beds. Pretty awesome for the kiddos, I must say. Their amenities include a cafe and restaurant, a pool, and a poolside concession stand. A unique offering is Kids Kitchen, a place kids can take cooking classes as aspiring chefs. They also offer the lowest price on Dutch Wonderland tickets. Make sure you click on the links below for calendar info and pricing on the seasonal events at Dutch Wonderland as well as both lodging options. I hope this video has given you a good picture of both what there is to look forward to when coming here in the off season and the nearby lodging. Almost definitely, if you spend the day here, you will walk away with a lot of smiles and great memories and maybe even wanting more of this kingdom for kids. If you will be coming to Dutch Wonderland, check out my links below to see what else there is to do and where to eat in Lancaster County. It is a great place to see and visit and a wonderful place for families to spend quality time together. Lastly, many thanks to Dutch Wonderland, Old Mill Stream Campground, and Cartoon Network Hotel for the terrific pictures and great information. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing, like it if you do, and enjoy your adventure.